Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. This video is the next video in our Math in Minutes series, Algebra 1, and today we're going to talk about finding the slope of a line given two points. My name is Nancy Foote, and let's get started. Let's say you're given two points, 1, 8, and 10, 9. Now I've known you see this thing, that the slope of the line, which we call m, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and it's all very, I don't know, I don't know if complicated is the right word or confusing or what, but I'm going to show you a hack or a cheat code or an easy way to do it. First thing I want you to do is I want you to write one of the sets of numbers, and I don't care which one you write first, choose one set, either the 1 and the 8 or the 10 and the 9, let's start with the 10 and the 9, and just stack them like that, the 10, 9, just written next to each other, take away the parentheses, take away the comma. The second set of numbers right underneath it. Okay, so there's my 10, 9, and there's my 1, 8, and draw a line under it. Now the next step is really, really important. You take the top number and you subtract the bottom number. So 10 minus 1 gives us 9. Do the same thing for the second one. 9 minus 8 is 1. You following me so far? Good. Now we're going to take the second number and put it over the first number, and that's the slope of your line. It doesn't get any harder than that. When you think about it, we're doing exactly the same thing as the y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's exactly what we're doing. We're just setting it up a little bit different, so it's a little bit easier, a little bit more manipulative, if you will, not quite as cumbersome. Let's do another one. You'll see this works 100% of the time. Next set of points, 1, 2, and 3, 5. Again, take a set of points, it doesn't matter which, 3, 5, and 1, 2. Draw your line, top number minus bottom number, so 3 minus 1, 5 minus 2. Second number divided by first number, there's your slope. Now let me just prove to you that it works no matter which set you put on the top. So in this case, let's do the 1, 2 on the top and the 3, 5 on the bottom. I'm going to show you it works exactly the same. Top number minus bottom number, 1 minus 3, that's negative 2, right? 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Second number divided by first number, and you're saying, but that's negative 3 over negative 2, and originally we got 3 over 2. Yes, but two negatives make a positive, so 3 halves, 3 halves, exactly the same. Let's do a couple more. The more you do of these, the better you'll get. Ladies and gentlemen, finding slope is no harder than this. 5, 17, and 7, 10. 5, 17, and 7, 10. 5 minus 7 is negative 2. 17 minus 10 is 7. Second number divided by first number your answer is negative 7 halves. Now, does it matter if I say negative 7 halves? Sorry, I slid off my screen there. Negative 7 halves, 7 over negative 2, or negative 7 over 2? No, it's exactly the same thing. It doesn't matter where you put the negative as long as it's somewhere in there and only in one place. So let's do the slope of some negative numbers. Let's have negative 1, 3, over 4, negative 6. You do have to be careful with negative numbers. This gets a little bit complicated. So negative 1, 3, and 4, negative 6. Because what I said was top number minus bottom number. So if we wrote it, we'd say top number minus bottom number. So what is one, negative 1 minus 4? That's right, it's negative 5. Top number minus bottom number. And if you see, I'm subtracting a negative number, which is the same thing as adding a positive number. So our answer is 9, oops, I'm running out of space again, fifths, sorry, negative 9 fifths, because you have your negative sign right there. So watch your signs. Let's do a couple more negatives. Those get complicated a little bit. So we have 5 eighths and negative 3, negative 2, okay? Again, doesn't matter what we put on top, 5, 8, negative 3, negative 2. 5 minus negative 3 
and write it off to the side if you need to. 5 minus negative 3. Oh, look at that. 5 minus negative 3. What is that? That's 5 plus 3. That's an 8. 8 minus negative 2. Oh, 8 minus negative 2. That's a 10. Second number over first number. And I can actually reduce that to 5 over 4. My slope is 5 over 4. You can do it the old way. You can do it this way. You can do it whatever way works easiest for you. As long as you're consistent. We're going to do one last problem. Let's do negative 6, 3, and negative 2, negative 1. So we're going to do negative 6, 3, negative 2, negative 1 negative 6 minus negative 2. Two negatives in a row, so I'm going to change that to a positive. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. 3 minus negative 1 becomes 3 plus 1, that's a 4. Second number over first number, 4 over negative 4, my slope becomes 1 over negative 1, my slope is negative 1. Now, can you say 1 over negative 1? Absolutely. Can you say negative 1 over 1? Sure you can. Or negative 1 over 1? All of those are the same thing. Sure. As long as you know your slope is 1 and there's a negative sign in front of it. Go ahead and try some more on your own. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment under, uh, below this video and I'll get back to you right away. Have a great day.